I want to zoom out a little bit and talk about, you know, some of the other things that also inhibit nitric oxide production that a lot of people won't necessarily think about. Uh, one of the things is about some of the mouthwashes that are out there on the market. <laughs> Tell us about that. This might be new to a lot. <laughs> God, you know as much as I do about nitric oxide, Drew. That, that's fantastic. Uh, hmm. Well, our, uh, when we eat, we eat lots of root vegetables, leafy vegetables that contain nitrite and nitrate. NO3 minus, NO2 minus. And uh, these nitrates that we take in actually are pretty healthy because they help to boost the production of nitric oxide in the body. They're actually converted to nitric oxide. You know, if you have NO3, NO2, you can kind of think, even if you're not a chemist, that certain enzymes might be able to convert that to NO. And that's exactly what happens. Now, in the mouth, we have a very important enzyme that converts nitrate to nitrite. So NO3 to NO2, that's the enzyme is in the mouth. And then you swallow NO2 into your stomach, it's absorbed into the blood, and that forms NO. And it's carried throughout the body. It's great. I mean, there are many ways to form NO, and that's one way to form NO. So if you eat lots of spinach, kale, arugula, beets, you're in good shape. But the thing is this, if you're going to do all that, don't use a mouthwash, because <laughs> the mouthwashes have ingredients in them that kill, and really kill the enzymes that make the nitrite and the NO. Those the, those molecules, those substances in the mouthwash, of course, do kill the bacteria that cause bad breath. Yes. And believe me, some people do need that. There's no question about it. But the same mouthwashes will block NO production. So I've written letters and I've really never heard back. But the, the, the um, I don't even know what industry to call it. The mouthwash industry <laughs> needs to come up with different kinds of chemicals that will affect selectively the enzymes that cause bad breath and leave the nice ones alone that make nitric oxide. And then we'll be in much better shape.